<laughs> I'm laughing because I'm about to shoot a very awkward testimonial for you guys. <laughs> um, so I should really, actually in this case, it probably doesn't matter that I don't have the product, but I had to, um, because I had mentioned when I talked to these folks at Arctic Zero, who were kind enough to send me some of their stuff. Well, first of all, let me back up. If you remember, I found out about Arctic Zero on Instagram. I saw a bunch of my friends, um, you know, in Fitfluential posting these amazing, you know, like, oh, I made a Proyo or I made uh, this, this uh, mug cake and it has ice cream on it. And they kept saying Arctic Zero and I'm like, what is that? Well, I'm pretty much, I don't want to say lactose intolerant. I can have some dairy things, but for the most part, and especially with ice cream, I cannot have it. And especially anything like frozen yogurt. I'll, I'll be bloated and have a horrible stomach ache all day. So it's rather unsettling. But I'd seen Arctic Zero and then somebody said something about it being for lactose intolerant individuals. And I was like, what? Hello? So I looked into it and we were following each other on Twitter. So I reached out and they were kind enough to send me quite a lot of their product, which of course I can't show you because I ate it all. Now, here's the thing. Part of the reason that I ate it all so fast, well, let's get real. That's not why. It happened to coincide with when I got that cold. Same as on my tongue. When I got that cold and the really bad sore throat, the one that had me like, oh, I think I'm okay to work today. And then I get on the phone with a client and I'm literally gagging to death because it hurt. My, my throat was so dry and sore. So when they sent me quite a lot of their product, um, I went through it like a hot knife through butter for two reasons. A, I couldn't really have anything but soft food and the, the, the cold um, felt great on my throat and I could eat it and it tasted good and I could eat it without getting sick. So um, here's the thing, if you haven't heard of them, I need you to look them up. They literally sent me, I mean, I was like, <sighs> Don't have my nails on. Getting them done today. Um, I was very excited. Uh, I was. I didn't realize. I knew that. I was more excited about getting this and saying, "Okay, this is something I could have for a treat because it's going to be friendly to my stomach." I didn't realize that on top of that, uh, it's 150 calories for a pint. Exhibit A. Okay, y'all know, like in the past when I would still have, if I would get like Ben and Jerry's um, frozen yogurt or anything like that, a pint. If I'm correct, if memory serves, is 600 calories. So there you are and you're like, oh, I'm having my low fat frozen yogurt. And you put it in your refrigerator, excuse me, your freezer, and you take it out and you're like, I can only have, you know, and you're looking at the container. This is my candle, but you know, you're looking at the container going, I can only have that much. When does that ever happen? That's like cereal companies. When they say the serving size is three quarters of a cup, who in the heck has three quarters of a cup of cereal? No one. That's why bowls are so big. Do I even have a bowl to show you? You know what I'm talking about. So really, let's get real, people. You know, it's kind of like people that say Krispy Kreme's. Oh, they're so sweet, I can only eat one. Really? Because I can eat a dozen. I can eat that like a boss. Just like Oreos, I'm getting off track again. Oreos, who can eat just two Oreos? I can take a double stuffed thing of Oreos and eat the whole thing. And I have no problem saying that. I'm not sorry. Anyway, so their primary um, products are the pints. They also have this. Now, I will tell you, they sent me both, um, although I ate everything. <laughs> um, I've never been an ice cream bar girl, so I'm not gonna rave about those. They were good. Um, and frankly, so there's um, the chocolate dipped bars. They have orange, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Um, I remember, oh, excuse me, orange, yeah, orange, strawberry. I remember looking at the strawberry and I'm like, who wants to eat strawberry and chocolate? And then I was, I was eating it going, oh, this is pretty good. And then of course I did like the orange. Um, I don't think myself I would buy those. That's just because I've never liked ice cream bars. Not my thing. Like people go, oh, I'd do anything for a Klondike bar. I would not do anything for a Klondike bar. Krispy Kremes, Oreos, Pop-Tarts, that's another matter. So let's get back to this. Here is what I love. It's 150 calories. It is gluten-free, fat-free, lactose intolerant friendly, contains natural and organic ingredients, low glycemic and type two diabetic, diabetic friendly, GMO free, 
8 grams of fiber, great for kids because it has no sugar alcohols, kosher, made with high quality whey protein. Um, now forgive me, I don't have, I don't think I have the, I don't think I have the, they gave me this nice brochure, I don't think I have the um, total, yes I do! Oh, that's the bar, the nutritional information, hold on. So, new pint flavors. So they said, oh, naughty. They divided the this into half cups. I don't know why, because when you get this, they say one pint is 150 calories. So if you did a half a cup, um, it looks like they, the whole thing would have, um, it would have, 7 times 4 is 28, so 28 carbs, 3 times 4 is 12 grams of protein, and then 150, uh, 150 grams, excuse me, 150 calories. Um, okay, um, now, here are the flavors, and I gotta wrap this up. Have I ever shot a, sh a short vlog? Never. Um, orange cream, I don't remember getting that one. Sea salt, caramel, coconut, uh, chocolate, chocolate peanut butter, coconut, very good. Coffee, very good. Cookies and cream, mint chocolate, orange cream. I don't think I got that either. Sea salt, caramel, I had that. Strawberry, vanilla, maple. Uh, I think those are all the flavors. Now let me tell you what my favorites were. Um, here's what's weird. Mint chocolate is normally my favorite. I don't know why. I think I liked pretty much everyone. Um, and... I remember, I don't know why, I just remember tasting the mint chocolate and I was like, I don't like this. Only one I didn't like, and I really don't know why. It was, I just, I can't put my finger on it. My impression of the flavors, they are very subtle. This is not like heavy, sugary, um, and I like it. It's, what I found I like best is to take the pint and put it in the microwave for like 11 seconds. That makes it mushy enough that you can stir it all up it's just delicious. Um, I had no bloating. I was able to, to drink it, eat it all. Um, normally, I'm not a strawberry ice cream person. Um, I think I might have given the strawberry to my mom, so I, I didn't try that. But again, if you don't like strawberry regular ice cream, why go for a different version? So I think the only ones I can't speak to, again, I tried mint chocolate chip. It was just not my favorite. I don't know why. Every other one, vanilla maple, Cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip, chocolate peanut butter, um, coffee was definitely one of my favorites. Coffee is definitely a favorite. Coconut was a favorite. Sea salt caramel was a favorite. Vanilla maple, chocolate. The chocolate peanut butter is good. It wasn't a very it, no. It's definitely not a very strong. Like if you're used to peanut butter flavor, you know it's not going to taste like natural peanut butter out of the jar. It's very very subtle, but I like it. Um, it's all very good. I am a fan. I just touched base with them and they said they would even send me a little bit more and I'm not going to complain about that. Um, you know, highly recommend it and I just think they are freaking awesome and I just don't know why I didn't know they existed until now. So I owed them or I told them that I would do uh, a review because their stuff was so awesome and they were so generous in sending me that. So if you haven't tried it, go out and try it and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm off.